Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a advanced a state foundation advanced tutorial series lecture for beginner to advanced level and in our previous video I have shown you that how we will create a model for combined footing and uh, how we will as a load on it and in this video I will try to finish that so if you are new here you can watch our previous video for your clear concept and also this is a channel for a civil engineer so if you think that this is a helpful channel and also the video is helpful for you then you can press the like button and leave a comment so that I can understand that is really helpful for you and also it will inspire me to do something better in our future so let's start first of all I will open our Esther foundation software So after that, sorry. After that, I will open our previous model. We have saved in that name. If you watching my video, then you can remember that. Then open. So here is here is our model. So after that, we have to go here. Load and factors. Then we have to go here. Apply self weight. And click here. Dead load. Select wall. Then press OK. After that, we'll go here. Safety factor and it should be 1. It's OK also. So from here, click here. Generate load combination. OK. So cancel that before that. Click here, create new load combination, then click here, create load combination, generate load load combination. Then from here you can select any code that required for you. I'm going to select ASC American Society for Civil Engineers 705. And here generate load combination for service load combination. Okay. And for ultimate load combination, click here generate load combination okay press okay then close that after that we have to go here soil properties click here it's also okay if you increase that it's also okay now we'll go for job setup so create a new job here give a name job name combine footing then we have to select job type um, combined it job type combined it then design code us you can select any assign to wall support we'll select here we'll increase that here we'll increase it assign to selected support we'll select here at assign to selected support then we can code version you can select the code version okay then we'll go here we'll click here to down was select wall load and from here we'll only deselect that for load okay then create job then we have to click here create job okay so now we have to uh, defend that then is still footing for that we have to select sorry from here we have to select both foundation and i mean both column point and click here create from selected nodes okay so you are seeing that our combined footing have been created so if we see from top view here these are combined footings here is our combined footing now we have done that so after that we have to go here combined footings of design parameters click here so here concrete and reinforcement first of all we have to click here concrete and reinforcement so from here according to our previous video we have to LV 
150 pound per feet cube CFT so from here you need weight of concrete you can change that according to requirement minimum bar spacing you can also change that according to requirement minimum uh, maximum bar spacing here 18 inch minimum bar spacing 5 inch extent of concrete suppose it's 3 ksi e less than of e steel 60 ksi okay minimum footing bar size suppose it's 7 footing bar size 7 minimum suppose 6 maximum 40 maximum consider it's 10 and top minimum footing bar size it's 6 and top maximum footing bar size it's also will consider it's 10 minimum pedestal bar size 3 maximum pedestal bar size it's 8. maximum pedestal bar size it's also consider that okay it's 10 then set as default yes okay after that click here cover and soil so from here pedestal clear cover suppose it will be 3 it will also be 3 so unit weight of soil what is the unit weight of soil you have to select here soil bearing capacity you have to also give here depth of soil above footing depth of soil suppose I am considering it's 2 feet okay or consider it's it's 3 feet and type of depth fixed top I mean from top it will consider um, the depth from top and searchers if available you have to give her depth of water table and depth of water table you have to give her depth of water table then uh, minimum percent of concrete area you can give her minimum percent of concrete so contact area and set as default yes okay then here is the important three terms footing geometry and column eccentricity click here footing geometry so here design type calculate dimension uh, here is two things set dimension and calculate if if you give her set dimension you have to provide the value required value and calculate dimension means the software will automatically calculate the required dimension okay so fixed left cover fixed left left cover no fixed right cover no you can give her yes what is the fixed left overhang sorry left not cover left overhang here left overhang and right overhang they this is the left overhang and from what is the meaning of overhang this is the, the meaning of overhang means from the center point of column uh, it's of the foundation to center point of the column here f this is for right the center point of column to it's of the foundation and after that minimum left cover hang minimum left sorry uh, overhang length what will be the minimum minimum what will be so suppose uh, if if you want to give here zero overhang then you can give here zero and um, first of all you have to understand one thing what is overhang overhang means that it's to that is the ends of the foundation and here is the center of column so uh, distance between center of column to its of the foundation okay so this known as overhang so we'll change that uh, after our analysis and then it will be very clear for us okay so then uh, minimum width what will be the minimum width suppose it will be minimum minimum width will be 5 feet minimum width will be 5 feet consider that and maximum thickness 1 feet sorry minimum thickness 1 feet 
then maximum length will be suppose maximum length what is what will be the maximum length the maximum length will be suppose uh, will be 20 feet and maximum width will be 10 okay then maximum thickness maximum thickness will be 5 feet then length increment 2 inch per time thickness increment 2 inch per time optimize footing size yes set as default yes then it's done after that we'll go here column eccentricity so what will be the the what will be the eccentricity of column column offset in transverse direction fit so we can give here the eccentricity but we will not give here so transverse direction means this is the transverse direction so if we give here positive it will go inside and if we if we give negative it will go outside so we will show you after our own analysis okay so after that sliding and over overturning here you have to give here coefficient of friction factor of safety against sliding factor of safety against overturning set as default yes then we have done our wall work so if we see it in 3d mode we have done our wall work that are required so in our next video i'll show you that how we'll analyze this and design our combined footing and how we'll uh, find out our details and schedule drawing and also how we'll change different types of parameter for our exact design process okay so thank you thank you very much and if you think that it is helpful for you just press the like button and also leave a comment so thank you thank you very much yes 12 stay connected till next video